Okay, we're here at the Royal Peacock Opal Mine. And I'm trying to figure out how to get this camera cinched on me so you guys can watch me mine for opals. Let's see. Alright. So we just had to guide Greg, tell us all what to look for. And he set us up here to dig in the tailings along the bank. And see stuff like that pops out. Wait, nope. Chip. Might be. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, those are cool. Feel free to ask questions all day, too. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, those are cool. Wondering, we've been pretty busy. We're wondering about that five, six dollar a gallon gas. gas prices. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. figure it'll keep some people away this year. Well, we've had I've had my heart set on this since I was like 18. Like so people who have had their heart set on. This. Yeah. yeah. So we're like, you know what? It's six bucks a gallon. Oh well. <laughs> it's all money well spent. Right. Um, I was thinking about these motorhomes that pay six bucks every eight miles. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Because I drove truck for a long time and a lot of that industry is getting hit the same way. Oh yeah. Things aren't too great right now, huh? No. Mm -mm. I ended up getting out of the industry because I saw kind of hurt from the shit. You know, I looked at uh, Intuit payroll. Oh, you like it? Yeah, it's not bad. I never thought I would ever excel in an office environment. Yeah. And come to find out I do. I tell people, this is my new office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have to say, I, I, I really am envious. Oh, <laughs> I am. I mean, um, it's, kind of, it's cool. I don't know how the hell I end up here. I don't ask questions. I'm just going with it, man. Right. right. Just go with it. Basically, I do five months. I work seven days a week for five months, and then all winter, I don't do a damn yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, that's what cool. I was going to say. That's great. <laughs> that's freaking great. All right. <laughs> um, the heat's what gets to me after months and months. I got the color. Right. But it's been so nice this year. Where are you from originally? Oh, about 30, 40 miles south of Portland. Okay. Okay, yeah. I don't tell people I'm from Portland anymore, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I used to give all the Californians shit, and then they'd say, where are you from? I said, Portland. They're like, okay, why are you giving me shit? <laughs> right, be like, mmm. <laughs> so there could be opals in any of these chunks of clay, honestly. But, yeah. Um, I used to tell people if I'm digging, these guys got some things. If I'm digging, I'll break down things that are this big. I don't really go small with it. Okay. I get tired of breaking down chunks of clay, so I don't hardly break down chunks of clay anymore. But I tell everybody else to. Yeah, it's kind of what I've been doing since I got here. So, I mean, you never know. 
Uh, this is the spot where that the black awful came from two days ago. Is it? Shit here yesterday, but one of these tannings. Yeah, you never know. I think the people miss 50 to 65 percent of this stuff here. I believe it. Oh yeah. It's so easy to miss. Well, then, so much of it is, well, how the hell do you know that? Oh <laughs> uh, well, I'm smart. <laughs> no, I mean people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how do they know that 65 percent gets missed? I'm saying you're smart. That's <laughs> you gotta be. What's that? So when we're digging for opal. Uh -huh. Water lines. Oh, okay. Back in the day, we'd seep down through the earth and then we look for pieces of ash, gray ash, fall will pop up every once in a while. Oh, we'll okay. Look for opals under those. Underneath the ash, because that's yeah. where it got suffocated at, and that's the layer where um, it stayed. Well, so there's a solid layer of ash above us, which puts us on a certain layer underneath that solid there. But when we run into ash balls, these water lines come down and scoot around the outside of the ash. Oh. Pick up a little bit of ash and basically keep heading down looking for a piece of wood to turn into glass, pretty much. Okay. So, All right. That's wonderful. Wonderful water information. And ash is what we need. I didn't think I could do it, <laughs> break that I can't get it to break it's so it's not clay it's not clay it's too heavy. I know what is it what do you think it is not what I want though huh not what we're after. That's what we're after. <laughs> it's nay what is it nay nay what time y'all pull in yesterday uh, oh, Friday. Friday late oh. Friday um because we live in Reno so we brought our trailer up and What'd then you do yesterday? everything in the valley. We went to hot springs, we went bicycle riding, we I don't know, we went rock hunting. I found like tons of obsidian, it was great. I found um, a whole right bunch out of by jasper. The highway, there's some orange, reddish, carnelian agate. Oh, the winter out there. really? Yeah. Thank God. So, yeah, okay. So I better... people, sometimes I cross the highway. So, there's two gravel roads coming in here. Yeah. Um, stay on the left one, and there's a road to, you just drive right across the highway, and then some people go up the hill. To, I've been up there a mile before. Okay. You don't need to go that high. Sometimes I don't even cross the road. I'll just park by that little information booth that's down there by that V and I'll just walk left. Okay. The refuge is a specific area that's couple, maybe a football field wide. That'd be great. Goes. Thank you. Okay. I'm I'm a rock hound from way back. So yeah. I, I always have these spots that I go to, but my other rock hounds aren't really forward with their information. So I, they kind of hide it. You know what? I never... I, I want to. Here's the deal. I tell people where I go find shit because I just assume I'm a better rock hound than everybody else. There you so go. I don't give a shit if they go out there. Right. I don't think they're going to find what I'm doing. <laughs> right on. <laughs> See, I have that same mentality. I'm like, I'll, I'll share my information. Good luck finding it. I'm I not going to go get it. I find shit, you know? Yeah, you know huh? Well, yeah. That's... I do tell people anyway where they are where they're not finding shit. I'm not in there. <laughs> right. I'm kind of an arrogant rock hound, but hey, I'm you nice. can, hey, <laughs> you can be. This is your, this is your field. So lots of water. I tell people they have to be 100% sure they're gonna find shit. <sighs> they have to believe it. Yeah, because if you don't, then hmm, like gambling. Okay, so I'll check this out. That beautiful it is i love it that breeze <laughs> i walked out of my house in the middle of winter with some snow on the ground i don't hear a damn sound on the face of the earth that's so cool <laughs> it really is um, i got some people that pulled up down there i'm gonna run down there and see what they're doing oh, okay Yourself with the dum dum. 